Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to this latest video on my Greeno Eats channel. Now this is a bit of an unplanned one to be honest with you. So earlier on today I recorded the video where I went to Winchester City to go and watch a game and picked up a nice burger and chips and the like. The reason I'd gone to that game was because it's on the way basically from where I live up towards Luton Airport where I had to come and pick up my other half and nine-year-old who'd been away for the Easter holidays. Problem is their flight has been delayed by over three hours, which means they're not going to get through the airport until after midnight with about a three hour drive ahead. I just didn't fancy doing that at that time of night. So I had a quick look online and managed to find a last minute hotel up near Luton Airport and booked us in for the night. So that's what we're going to do. Stay the night here at the Holiday Inn Express at Luton Airport. It's going to be another couple of hours, I guess until they come through the airport, unfortunately. So uh, I've just got to sit and wait. There's a telly on the wall behind me, as you can see. So I shall uh, stick that on and wait it out until they arrive. Uh, but that means, of course, tomorrow morning, another hotel breakfast. <laughs> come on, by the magic of television, well, not television, YouTube, whatever. <laughs> you will see me next tomorrow morning with a different jumper on and we will be having the hotel breakfast. And see you down in the breakfast room. See, I told you, new jumper. <laughs> so I'm down here in the breakfast room now of this Holiday Inn Express at Luton Airport. Looks pretty good actually. Um, nice little setup. they've got quite a lot of good stuff around. There's a limited hot selection, sausage, bacon, scrambled egg and beans. But the cold stuff looks good. There's a lot of different cereals. There's some yogurt and fruit. Uh, there's plenty of bread and pastries this time. We've got some little mini cupcakey type things, some croissants and that. So, yeah, I'm going to get myself a, a coffee and a juice to start off and then we'll crack into it. Little in here has got her first course, her starter for her breakfast. What have you got there, bubs? Yogurt, fruit sauce, and Yogurt, natural yogurt, there's a bit of fruit sauce and granola on there. And how is it? It's a nice little thing to start the day. So you've got an orange juice there as well. You tried that yet? And how was it? Good? Has it got bits in it or not? Has it? Right, so I decided to start with a little bit of granola here. I wasn't very impressed with the uh, cereal selection to be honest. There's quite a few but nothing I really like but a little bit to try. Very sweet, wow. That's crazy sweet. That's something that's supposed to be healthy. <laughs> I think I'll be going into a diabetic coma any minute now. Right, so I've got my cooked breakfast here, folks. So these are all the cooked items they have available. So we've got some scrambled egg here, which I've added a bit of pepper to, give it a bit of seasoning. Some bacon, which I've picked out the sort of more well done, crispy bits. Quite a lot of it was a little bit undercooked and a bit flabby looking. Uh, we have sausages here. Now I think these have been cooked in the oven rather than fried or grilled, because the, a lot of the, the, uh, the casings on them were all split open. And some baked beans. They look pretty good, don't they? 
So overall, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. Right then, folks, let's give this a try then. Let's start with the scrambled egg. It looks pretty good. So I added a bit of pepper on there for seasoning. Mm. That's not bad at all, actually. Kind of fluffy. Completely unseasoned, I think. I should have added some salt, but... Mm. I like that. Try the beans. As the teenager said on the last video, beans are beans, but... These are nice. So they're warming them up in the kitchen, filling them into that hot plate. Very good. Sausage time. So, let's see what they got inside of here. This looks like a kind of normal sausage. Got a little bit of brown sauce on there. Oh, quite peppery, kind of like a Cumberland sausage. That surprised me, I thought it was going to be a, a, just a plain standard pork sausage, but no. That's good. And let's try this bacon. I say in the, in the hot plate thing, a lot of the bacon was a little bit undercooked for my liking, so I had a little delve through and found some of the more cooked bits. Not the best bacon I've ever had. Feels very much like sort of catering bacon, if you know what I mean. Mm, it's okay. But it's by far the weakest element on the plate. Folks, we have the Greeno, famous Greeno, Toast Stonehenge. Only way to stop it getting all sweaty and horrible. Right, so Littleman is very keen that I show you all the different available toast toppings. You should set them up all neatly here for me so I can display them to you. So we'll start down here. With some marmalade. We've got honey, Nutella, butter. Strawberry jam and Marmite. So, big question, which one are you going for? Okay, we have a world exclusive here, folks. <laughs> Bubs's first ever try of marmalade. Are you actually English? You are, and you've never had marmalade before? My goodness me. Right, let's give it a try. You can see all the little bits of orange peel in there. That's good, is it? Is it kind of, is it very orangey? Or just sweet and a bit orangey? Like that, is it? Do you think you'd have it again? Should we get some at home? Yeah? Okay. Right, folks. Toast time. And today, as you can see here, we have gone with Marmite. Now, for any of you abroad who are unfamiliar with Marmite, this is like a spread that's made out of yeast extract i think it's part of a like a byproduct of the brewing industry it's really savory it's really salty it's my favorite well from behind the camera bubs is telling me it's her favorite too she just had some honey on toast as well which is uh which is good a bit of honey a bit of marmalade but yeah this really enjoyable nice toast <laughs> look at this that went through the toaster twice. <laughs> Normally on a hotel breakfast, they have that toast, the rotating toast machine thing. You put your toast through once, and it's, uh, it just doesn't cook it at all. We put it through a second time, and it comes out facing like a piece of charcoal. But this place, no, you put it through twice, it still comes out pale. Tasty, though. Right then, folks, so what did I make of that overall? I don't think it was bad. A hot breakfast buffet item is obviously a little bit limited. It would be nice to have a 
bit more selection. Uh, Little and Mr. Mushrooms. Would have been nice to have some tomatoes or something. Uh, the other half mentioned hash browns, which I still am not convinced by. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it was a little bit limited, but what they did have was nice enough. A good selection of cold stuff as well. The, um, the continental side of things was pretty good. How would I rate it? It was probably on a similar mark to the Travel Lodge one that we had up in uh, up in Rugby recently. Um, so somewhere better than Toby Carvery, not as good as a Premier Inn breakfast, just somewhere in the middle. Litland did say though that she actually preferred the Toby Carvery one to this one, so that's interesting. Anyway, that's going to be it from me. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget, click a little thumbs up on there for me, it does help with the channel. And if you're new around here and like what you've seen, don't forget to click the subscribe button and ding your little bell for notifications and you won't miss anything that comes up on the channel. And if you've enjoyed this video, maybe the one linked up here will be right up your street too. Yeah.